Okay, so we talked about file input output, how to read from a file, how to do some calculation, and how to output the data to the screen. This is part two of the same program. We are going to see uh, how to output to a file to another file. So it's the same program. If you look at it, I have my in data text that has uh, the name of the person, the department that they are in their salary and the bonus on the second line. The third line has the number of miles they travel and the hours, the traveling time in hours. And the last line has the number of coffee mugs they sold and the price per coffee mug. And if we go back to our program and take a look at it, we have all our includes, IO stream, IO manip for the output, string to read the person's name, F stream to read from a file. And then if we go down here, we have ifstream in file to read from the file. And then we have ifstream out file to write, ofstream out file to write to the file. And we have three string variables, first name, last name, and the department that we're going to read into. And we have a bunch of doubles to read their salary, bonus, calculate, all the other things that we need to calculate. Once we get all that set up, then we are ready to open the file and read. You open the file in file.open. And then you read on the first line, we have F name, first name and last name, uh, just using our extraction operator because they're all separated by space. So first name, last name, and department gets read. Then the second line, salary and bonus gets read. Remember again, the extraction operator will ignore spaces and new lines, so it's just going to keep reading. You just have to make sure that you're reading the right data. So we have first name, last name, the department then we have salary and bonus then we have um, so we read salary and bonus then we have miles and the time it takes and then we have mug quantity and the price so you make sure you read them all in the right order and then you manipulate it meaning we figure out whatever we need to figure out total salary would be uh, put the formula in with the bonus you add the original salary that will be the total salary average speed would be miles divided by time and the total price would be the mug quantity times the price will give us the total sales amount. Then you format, you do your show points, set position, and then you output to the user however you want to use all your manipulators. In this case, I'm simply saying, here's the first name, here's the last name, and the department separated by a space. And then the total salary equals dollar amount, average speed, miles per hour, and the total sales amount, dollar amount. Now I'm outputting to the screen and then I'm also outputting to our file. Remember our OF stream out file. Use that dot open, open a file called outdata.txt. Now remember this out file is going to open a file called outdata.txt and overwrite everything in there. We are not using any other parameters, so we are not opening in the append mode. We are opening in the rewrite mode. So be aware that if you put in a file name, it is going to get overwritten with the data. So never use your input file because then it would overwrite your input file and you won't have it. So give it a new name, make sure you create a new file. And by default, it is going to go in the same folder as your projects folder if you don't have a path name in here inside of the double quotes. So outfile.open and then you do the same thing that we did for your manipulator, show points, set precision, the only difference is instead of doing C out, you'll be doing out file. So out file, fixed, show points, set precision, out file, F name, space, last name. So it's very, very similar to my previous output statements. Instead of using C out, all the C outs are going to get replaced by out file, meaning send it to the file. So I copied, pasted, changed all my C outs to out file. And when that's done, I can close both files. So let's build it and run it. And you will see that when it outputs to my screen, after it outputs to my screen, it's also going to output it to the file. So there it is, Michelle Smith, the salary, the average speed, and the total sales amount. And hit enter. Notice my outdata.txt. I have it right here. Um, if you open it, Here's my outdata.txt. It's got the first name, last name, and the department, total salary, average speed, and total sales amount. Or if you go down to your folders, you will see it is under documents, which is where I have my projects folder, Visual Studio 2013 projects. 
my project is called module 3 one more into module 3 and there is a file outdata.txt and make sure that it was just created and if you're testing it a few times make sure that the file is not old the file has just been created and actually that you actually get the right data so that's how you write out to a file